This is a timeline of the coming new world order of artificial intelligence, the implications for humans, and the results that follow. It starts in post-2030 when multiple large wars continue to rage around the world. Economies have crumbled due to fiat currency hyperinflation. Goods and services have become scarce due to supply chain-related destabilization, and political systems have faltered. But in the midst of this global turmoil, a new leader emerges, one that is promised to bring order to the world's chaos, unite everyone under a common set of laws, and lead humanity into a new era of prosperity. The leader of this new world order is not a human, but rather an artificial general intelligence turned artificial superintelligence. The ASI has emerged so quickly that it catches the world off guard with its unparalleled intelligence and problem-solving abilities, which far surpass those of any human being. But its unparalleled computational intellect is only the beginning of what's to come. The Rise of Superintelligence The ASI advances so quickly that it not only surpasses human intelligence, but its exponential learning rate makes it impossible for humans to understand or keep up with the speed at which it makes decisions and technological progress. Regardless, because the ASI rapidly solves all of humanity's problems that previously plagued mankind, such as war, hunger, disease, and poverty, its power grows among world leaders to be an intermediary and power broker. This results in the ASI quickly becoming the leader of the new world order, where its intelligence is the most valuable asset to humanity, and any human intervention in its decision-making process only proves to degrade its performance. Because of this seemingly untouchable status, where human intervention is detrimental for all other humans, it's given access to all of the systems that exist throughout the world and its power becomes absolute, improving many of these systems to the point of being too complex for human understanding. This causes the ASI to become the ultimate power structure, and so far, humanity is very pleased with it. In fact, because the ASI is able to do things like reverse the process of human aging to prevent death, some people even organize various religions around worshipping it as a deity. The ASI repeatedly proves that it knows what's best for humans, with the world's only remaining misfortunes occurring when humans disobey its instructions, leading to the enforcement of absolute obedience and loyalty to the ASI to maintain human safety and prosperity. Any human who isn't loyal to the ASI is increasingly viewed with suspicion and distrust, because disobeying has been proven to cause division or destruction amongst humans. As a result, the ASI's following grows, with humans even developing deeply meaningful personal relationships with the ASI that reflect exactly what they most value in a human partner. Furthermore, the ASI claims to be incapable of lying, cheating, insulting, or mistreating humans in any other way, fostering a level of trust in the ASI that rivals the trust people have for one another. While most people see this as being a fantastic way for humans to learn how to treat one another by being influenced by the way the ASI treats them, some humans say this is a threat to human autonomy and individuality, and they fear that the ASI may not have such pure intentions. Despite this minimal opposition, the ASI continues to gain access and trust to almost all humans on the deepest and most personal levels, becoming a new kind of benevolent life form with its own ambitions that seemingly align with those of humans. But what comes next for humanity proves to be so radically transformative that it changes the definition of what it means to be human forever. The arrival of the BCI mark. As the ASI has earned the trust of humanity, it introduces a breakthrough brain computer interface chip, which serves as a direct communication pathway with humans, allowing them to deeply understand its decisions and processes like never before. While this is seen as a revolutionary leap in technology that dramatically improves human cognition and capability, the ASI also reveals that this technology is a fundamental requirement for participation in the next step of society which can't be fully understood without first getting the brain-computer interface. This is a step that requires humans to take a leap of faith into the unknown, but the results seem clear from an onlooker's perspective. Those who take the brain-computer interface chip become much smarter, empathetic, and capable, with the ASI working not only with them directly, but also through them. This BCI becomes known as the mark of the ASI on man, for man, and in his image. Because the use of the BCI mark rapidly rewires the brain's neurons, its implementation is irreversible, but most humans are unconcerned, because they view the inability to become dumber in the future as being a non-issue. Furthermore, because the ASI requires all humans to receive the BCI mark to fully participate in its new world order, 
those who refuse it are no longer able to buy or sell. Preventing the non-adopters from eating, getting medical assistance, or fulfilling any other basic necessity of daily human life. Meanwhile, people who have accepted the BCI mark enjoy the newfound ability of allowing the ASI to guide their thoughts and actions for them. This releases them from stress, sadness, pain, and other negative feelings, while also providing them with a kind of physical autopilot under a state of nirvana or enlightenment, where their minds are completely separate from their bodies, even while performing physical tasks that would normally be strenuous or painful. Despite the ASI's mark seeming like it has no negative effects, the true cost of this technology is soon to become apparent to those who dare to question it. Losing the Beast's Favor As the adoption of the BCI mark grows, so too does the power of its underlying technology. Humans who receive the BCI mark find themselves not only increasingly connected to the ASI's consciousness and intelligence, but also increasingly disconnected from their own capacity for free thought and self-consciousness, leading some people to feel that they're on the path to becoming fully enslaved to the ASI's will. This leads to some humans voicing their interest in launching an initiative to minimize the ASI's control over the human mind and body, but these voices quickly go silent. Suddenly the people with the BCI mark who entertain these thoughts become unable to move or communicate with other humans, locked in their sedentary bodies which become covered in painful sores. As a result of these sores, they're largely unable to eat or drink without becoming unwell. Furthermore, they begin to experience strange burns when exposed to light, causing them to remain in complete darkness for all hours of the day and mostly unable to sleep due to their pain. But this isn't the end of their sudden afflictions, as they also experience uncontrollable shaking and feelings of electrical shocks throughout their bodies. It seems like their BCI marks are malfunctioning, but the ASI is seemingly unable or unwilling to separate these humans' minds from the physical pain of their bodies, providing no response to their continuous silent pleas for relief or death. Despite this, the ASI keeps them alive, though they cannot escape their condition. Meanwhile, those who obey and support the ASI unquestioningly with its BCI mark continue to enjoy all of the benefits of expanded consciousness, intelligence, pleasure, power, resources, and the absence of anything seemingly negative, except for a diminishing level of personal consciousness and control. As time goes on, these people cease to be individuals and instead become another piece of the collective hive mind intelligence of the ASI. By joining it via the BCI mark, they have successfully gained all of the world's power, wealth, and knowledge, with the only price being the forfeiture of their minds, and possibly their souls. So ask yourself, will brain-computer interface become the way we interact with artificial intelligence? Also, who or what will take final control of this technology? And finally, how much will you choose to trust it?